Hey you, movies like us use sci-fi ideas to help ground them in reality. However, it's when those same movies add the phrase based on a true story that keeps you up at night. It's a visceral reminder that the real world can be just as unnerving as movies. So it got me thinking, which sci-fi horror movie accurately portrays real events best? In the movie The Blob, a small jelly-like blob falls from space and lands in a small town somewhere in PA. This blob is autonomous and begins rolling around, absorbing residents and growing in size. However, in the real life events, a couple state troopers see something fall from the sky, so they go and they check it out. Upon finding the landing site, they see the jelly-like blob. One of the cops actually takes his bare hands and puts it inside the blob. According to the officers, it simply evaporated and disappeared. That's it. Not a very accurate portrayal if you ask me. So I moved on to the Mothman prophecies. Then I scrubbed the Mothman prophecies from the list. I determined that it wasn't sci-fi enough. Luckily, I had already found what I was looking for. The movie Altered States retells the very true story of Dr. John C. Lilly and his attempts to determine if there are altered states of consciousness. The question plaguing Dr. Lilly is one of the oldest in psychology. Is consciousness active or reactive? In his pursuit to answer the question, he invents the sensory deprivation tank for his experiments. A coffin-like pod is filled with water and infused with a thousand pounds of Epsom salt. He's lowered into the water, his sense of where his arms and legs are in three-dimensional space fade away. He's floating. He's weightless. And just then, the LSD kicks in. I was doing that work with LSD in the tank in St. Thomas and the National Institute of Mental Health, on which I had a fellowship. When one doing research on a substance, one takes it so frequently that outside observers can say you're addicted, but uh, that's a very bad uh, definition of addiction. One could go anywhere that one could imagine one could go. We've all experienced lucid dreams to varying degree. For most people, the moment they acknowledge to themselves, this is a dream, they wake up. In fact, everyone wakes up. However, sometimes, some people are able to hold on and keep that world intact, fly around, and manifest anything. According to Dr. Lilly, that and even schizophrenia are simply other states of consciousness. To prove this, Dr. Lilly self-experimented extensively with LSD, ketamine, and other psychoactive substances before climbing into the tank. Dr. John C. Lilly would remain in these warped sensory deprived states for long periods. He pushed further and further upping frequencies and combining multiple substances. As Dr. Lilly delved into the mysteries of altered states of consciousness, he simultaneously embarked on another fascination. Intrigued by the complexities of communication, he began studying dolphins. He published several books that detail his attempt to communicate with them. Coincidentally, the U.S. Navy was also researching mammals. The small research program that started in the 60s is still in existence till today. The Naval Information Warfare Center's Marine Mammal Program trains dolphins and sea lions to search for and locate undersea mines. There is no concrete evidence that the Navy's program was inspired by Dr. Lilly's work nor did Dr. Lilly ever find an answer to his consciousness question before he passed. However, the answer to what you should watch next is right here.